We're starting to hear talk about 16K in the industry, and I hear a lot of customers and just people push back on that a little bit because there's limited 4K content and you know, there's a lot of questions that does it even matter at that point? Can you see that kind of information? So we are here with Tim Henson and Jason Schell. Um, Jason is a chemical engineer and Tim Henson is our own mad scientist. So tell me a little bit, uh, we we're talking about future technologies and future proofing our screens. So when we start talking 16K resolution, is that a t like, is that attainable from a, from a viewer standpoint? It's, it's kind of a loaded question. Uh, yes, it, it does matter but it's, it's something that uh, you have to look at, uh, in our case, two-piece projection, uh, unlike a monitor or, or a TV screen that has fixed resolution. Ours is variable because it involves two pieces, right? The projector and the screen. So can my eyes actually see 16K? Can I see something that small? So the, the eye, the human eye is limited to what kind of detail it can resolve and it, it's dependent upon how far away you are from that detail. So a, a, a human observer with 20-20 vision standing 20 feet back from an object can resolve one arc minute of detail. Okay, so what is an arc minute? A circle has 360 degrees each of those degrees divided into 60 segments. Each of those segments is an, an arc minute. So, so there's 60 arc minutes in one degree of a circle. Wow, that's pretty small. So it's small depending on how far back you are. Um, so if you are very close to something, then that arc minute will be smaller than a human hair. At three feet of distance, then it's a, it's a fraction of an, an inch. If you are 60 or 80 feet back from an object, then that arc minute tends to be larger. That's what translates between the resolution of the projector and the ability of a, a viewer to resolve the detail. So what makes a premium surface future-proof for a customer? Well, when we look at you know, a new screen to develop, we want to take in account you know, contrast, uniformity, gain, and, and resolution. And, and those four things make up a good screen. And so when you're testing these, there isn't 16K content, there isn't a 16K projector. How are you able to test a surface to see if it is future-proof for 16K? We use something called a USAF 1951 resolution slide. And what is that? It's a glass slide with incrementally smaller line pairs etched into it. We use that and project through it to identify uh, what the screen surface is able to receive it has the ability to resolve line pairs much smaller than your projector can. So what is a line pair? A line pair, you can think of a line pair as a pair of pixels, one on and one off, or one white pixel and one black pixel, and that represents one pair of lines. Through our testing, we've been able to identify that our, our materials are able to resolve six line pairs per millimeter. So we can resolve six line pairs per millimeter on a daylight HD progressive surface. How does that translate into resolution? We'll have to do a little math here, but anyway, a, a 10 foot screen, uh, if we converted that into millimeters in width, would be 3,048 millimeters in width. And we know we have six line pairs per millimeter, so we take that times the 3,048 and we come up with 18,288 pixels. A 16K uh, format would be 15,360 pixels wide, so we're already over the 16K rating. So we are 16K and higher rated for our HD progressive surfaces. That's correct. That's exciting. I mean, when you talk about, that's a lot of numbers, but when you start talking about the detail uh, in content that can kind of immerse you in that experience of whatever you're watching, that's really important. So that's really exciting. Thank you.